Hey folks, it's Gail at Seattle Coffee Gear and I'm here to talk about entry level or budget setups for espresso. Now, not everybody has the money to just jump into a big old rocket and a nice grinder and, you know, put out $3,000, $3,500. So there's something for everybody. Uh, so I want to just kind of point out what we think is some options for you guys. You're going to college, you're on a budget, whatever. The EC155 from DeLonghi, uh, this has been a great little machine, stainless steel boiler. Uh, it has the pressurized uh, filter basket in the portafilter. Um, it just is a basic machine that does a pretty decent job. The one thing about it is it has the Panarello. You're not going to be doing the traditional steaming of the milk as in controlling the foam and all that. You will control the temperature, but you can't control the foam because this is a Panarello. So, back here's the water tank, you know, nice and compact. Comes with the single and the double pressurized basket, and there's storage for one or the other right back here. This is how you do the steam. Size is really great for a small apartment if you don't have a lot of room. This is in the hundred-ish dollar range, right? I'm not gonna give you specifics because the prices change all the time. Then to pair a grinder with it, well, there are several options, I would say. You could start with a hand grinder. This is the Skirt and Pro from Hario. Uh, this is for the person that has a lot of time, a lot of time, and wants to get a lot of workout, because this takes time to make espresso grind. It's gonna take some time to grind it, but it's affordable, and it does an excellent job. It's actually very consistent. The other one I wanna point out is the Capresso Infinity. It comes in black or the silver. This machine actually kind of surprises me because on the lowest levels, it will actually choke this machine. It will, as in a pressurized basket, it will come out either not at all or very, very slow. Plus it goes up to drip and pour over. So you're not gonna get into French press or anything like that. And it's not as consistent as a lot of higher end grinders, but we're not talking about higher end grinders. We're talking in the hundred-ish range, under $200. So. Take a look at this one, and it also has a bins collector right here. It has a timer. Hear it clicking? It has a timer. And then this is how you make your adjustment for the setting up here for the grind setting. Now the next one would be the Breville, a little bit more uh, in price than the Capresso. It's the Breville Dose Control. This one actually has dose control, like this one here. It's just a timer, it's really all it is. Uh, it has all these settings right up here that you can set from espresso up to, let's see what it says, drip. Uh, it's not going to really go up much further than drip. I wouldn't take it by this machine if you want to go up to a French press, but it will do a pretty decent job on an espresso. And most of these lower end grinders are more designed for a pressurized portafilter system like the EC155 has. Over time, you may not find it suitable if you're going to move up into another higher-end machine, such as a rocket or something like that. You, you will definitely want to upgrade your grinder, but we're talking entry level here. So these are the choices if you want to stay within a budget that's, you know, it, oh, in the 200 or under kind of range within a few bucks. Everything changes. This one is obviously going to be the most uh, cost-effective, but there's no motor involved. This is the motor right here big guns right over here. So let's, uh, this is the entry level. So let's go from there. So in our uh, quest to show you the uh, budget minded or entry level machines, this is the next step up. This is the Breville Barista Express. And why is this one a little bit different? And why is it at that next level? It has a grinder built in, and this grinder is suitable for espresso for this machine. It's not something you're going to use for drip or pour over for other methods. It's only for this machine. Programmable dosing, uh, automatic grind right down here. You push the portafilter filter in, grinds down in. You get a tamper, you get the uh, uh, pressurized or non-pressurized baskets that fit this machine, which allows you, let me explain what that means. Non-pressurized means you would get fussier with the grind of the coffee to get those uh, two ounces of liquid in the cup in 20 to 30 seconds. It gives you a better shot. Non, or the pressurized compensates for the grind of the coffee not being perfect 
The shot won't be quite as good, but you don't have to be as perfect. So it's a bit of a compromise. The other thing is this has a traditional steam arm versus the Panarello on the DeLonghi EC-155. What does that mean to you? That one you don't have as much control over the quality of the foam. You get what you get, and it's going to be a lot more foam. This, you have a lot more control, like a barista would, over the consistency of the foam, how much foam, and then the temperature as well. You can control the temperature on that one by just stopping. But this one is the consistency and the amount of foam that's going to be way different. You could actually do latte art foam with this if you really chose to. Uh, stainless steel casing, more plastic on a machine like that, uh, big water tank. This is a much bigger unit on the countertop, there's no doubt. But in this price point, and look it up on our website, um, you're not, you know, you're well under a thousand dollars. Well under a thousand. You get the grinder, pressurized, non-pressurized, dose control, uh, volume in the cup. Uh, this gauge on the front tells you whether the grind of the coffee is correct or not. So you get a lot for your money. So that would be the next step up from the entry level, like the Compresso with the, or the uh, dose control with the EC-155. You step up to the Breville Breeze Express. And of course, you can go further from here too. And you know, there's others, check them out on our website. But we're showing you these because we feel as though you get a lot of bang for your buck. And it's great for the budget-minded or the entry level person. Check it out. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, please. And thanks a lot for watching this video.